Hello friends, uh, welcome once again to Rick's Garage. Uh, today I thought it would be fun to demonstrate the use of one of these caliper windback kits. They have uh, other methods too. This is a, uh, a dice type uh, tool that fits in the slots and you put it, use it with an extension. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, if you're lucky you can get away with using one of these. I've seen guys take needle nose pliers, stick them in there and try to turn it as they press in. But it takes a lot of effort to use one of those two tools. It's much easier with one of these kits that has um, the ability to screw the uh, push the piston in as it turns it. So um, I thought it'd be fun to demonstrate this. There's actually no need to fret over whether you should be using the right hand or the left hand. As far as uh, the left side of the vehicle, you'll most always use the right hand windback tool. And a few uh, vehicles on the other side will use the left hand uh, tool. Now, if you're not sure, just try it. Put one on, and if the caliper refuses to move, then you know you probably need the other one. So it, it's really nothing to fret over whether it's left-handed or right-handed. It's kind of foolproof. <laughs> if you put the wrong one on, it's not going to move. Now, of course, you understand that here in the United States, the left hand is the driver's side and the right hand is the passenger side. But these uh, videos go uh, all over the world, and that's not always the case. So the, if you're at a pot store and they're asking you whether the, the pot you need is for the left of the vehicle or the right of the vehicle, just think of, picture yourself sitting in the car facing forward. Your left hand would be the left side of the vehicle, your right hand would be toward the right side of the vehicle. So uh, that's kind of an easy way to remember it, no matter where you are, no matter what side drive your country uses. These kits can be purchased on eBay for less than $30, so it's not a huge investment if you're going to do any kind of uh, brake work. Um, just use it once and it'll pay for itself. Um, if you live near an auto zone, they will lend you one, but let me caution you that the lender tool at AutoZone only comes with the right hand wind back tool. So um, if you run into a problem where you're doing need one that has needs a left hand tool, uh, you're kind of stuck. What you see before you is a caliper off of a Dodge Caravan. Uh, this is from the right side of the vehicle. I already know for a fact that it requires the right hand wind back tool, but I'm going to intentionally install the left hand wind back tool just to show you what happens. So this is a left hand wind back tool. Line up the slots. Just tightening up this thing so it's uh, firm against the uh, backing plate. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to turn this thing. And you can see absolutely nothing happens. I'm using quite a bit of my strength and it, it won't budge. So I know that I've got the wrong one on there. So don't worry if you install the wrong one and it won't move but if you can't get it to move then you know you need to try the other one now there are some rare circumstances where it won't move in either direction it might be a little bit stuck if that's the case then what you need to do is the lever that operates the emergency brake just pump that a few times see how I'm pumping it and the, and the pistons moving out so just give that a few pumps to kind of free things up a little bit for you. Before you um, attempt to press this in, it's a good idea to put a little uh, lubricant around the boot. You want the boot not to turn, so you don't want to tear it. The piston's going to turn, but you want the boot to stay where it is. Now you don't want to use a petroleum-based lubricant because the boot is made out of petroleum and over time they could react to each other and the uh, lubricant could eat into the boot. So what I use is a, um, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's a, it's probably out of focus, a silicon based lubricant. 
So first of all, you want to select a adapter tool that will fit nicely in the um, slots. And this thing seems to fit very nicely. There's uh, a, quite a few adapter tools that come with the kit. So this is the one we're going to use. And we already know that we're going to need the right hand tool. You want to uh, take and uh, sneak the uh, backing plate over the handle. There we go. Okay, that's installed and you want to install the adapter you've chosen. Now this is magnetic which comes in handy and helps it stay in place. So we're going to wind that in and we're going to fit it in and we're going to line the slots up. There we are. And now we're going to back this off so that the your adapter plate is tight against the backing where the pad is held in. Hopefully this will press in. So we're going to rotate it clockwise because it is the right hand tool and we can only go about a half a turn at a time and then we have to keep readjusting this this thing here. So let's turn it and see. Oh it's turning very nicely and oops we got our, already got a back it up. We got to keep that tight and so we can only go a little bit and then back this off because you don't want these um, slots to slip out of the piston. Turn it. Oops, it's already slipping out. We got to keep backing it off. So it takes a little bit of patience. Okay, and then we'll back that off. But you get the gist of how this is done. Now just for the fun of it, let's try one of the other methods that I showed you. Let's take the um, that dice thing with a ratchet and f see if we can fit it in there. That side doesn't seem to fit it. So we have to find a, uh, a side that the dice fits pretty well. That doesn't seem to fit. Looks like that's about the best we're going to do right there. So let me put it in a ratchet and let's see how we do with it. Well, you know, it does work and it is pressing in. I'm putting pushing pressure in as I'm uh, turning it. So that works. Now let's try the uh, method that I've seen people use using a uh, needle nose pliers. Th that does also work. So you've got options there. So let's go back to our uh, kit which is much easier and we'll line up our slots. Once again I drop my uh, handle this is a replacement handle on this. I had a caliper that was badly stuck and I wound up bending the uh, handle. So this is a replacement handle I made. So we're going to keep turning that in. And like I say, I'm only going to go a little bit at a time to keep that tight so that those slots don't slip out. Yeah, don't go no more than half a turn at a time. We're almost all the way back in. Looks like that's about where it, the end of it. So it's uh, it's a lot easier with this kit. It's awkward no matter how you try to do it. So we showed you all three methods I've seen online with the uh, the dice. 
a set of uh, needle nose pliers. They all seem to work in varying degrees. And remember, if you can't get it to budge, you either have the wrong windback tool or you need to pump the uh, emergency brake actuator a few times to get it loosened up. So this is ready to be installed back on the car. Now, you can do this on the car. I just took it off the car to uh, make it a little easier for you to see what was going on. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.